so this is my do it yourself project assignment 5 video it's a laptop disassembly so let's get into it so these are the tools required first there's a screwdriver along with a bunch of screws we require many different sizes of screws because the different screws in the laptop have different sizes those are a bunch of bowls because each we need to it's very important to keep all the screws separately because different if you mix up the screws then it's going to be a very bad time at reassembly there's a magnet we actually require a magnetic screwdriver for this but since we don't have one we can magnetize the screwdriver by rubbing it with a magnet so that i can pick up all the screws magnetically it is very cool you just rub it and it immediately gets magnetized the screwdriver the, that's isopropyl alcohol 99.9% .9 purity it's used for cleaning the corrosion inside electronics so this is the laptop this was actually submerged underwater for four days during the kerala flood so it's in pretty bad condition it's the outside is completely caked with dust and the inside is pretty corroded all the connections are quite corroded there's a lot of brown inside on the piece on the printed circuit boards so first we have to clean the outside and I did it with alcohol swabs because it's much better to use alcohol for this than water as alcohol doesn't damage the electronic components that much it's preferred to use alcohol. So here I am cleaning the inside and there's some paint also on it so I removed that with a pry tool. First we remove the battery it's a lithium ion battery you know average lithium ion battery. Uh, then I start removing the covers over the RAM and the hard drive. So there's the RAM cover, cover that's just gonna come off right now. And I had to pry open the hard drive cover because it was stuck. You can see the hard drive. So now I'm removing the hard drive. It just pops right out when you pull on the pull tab. Now I'm removing the RAM. You have to be careful while removing the RAM because you have to wear a grounding bracelet otherwise you could cause a static discharge that could fry the RAM and cause a spark. So there's the RAM. Now I'm removing the Wi-Fi card. This was quite a complicated removal as you can see even though it's such a small component. And here it comes out. Now I'm removing the CD drive. Pops right out. Once you remove the screw there's a screw inside there. Now I'm removing all the back screws from the back panel so then we should be able to remove everything else. Now I'm removing the keyboard. If we hadn't removed the back screws we wouldn't be able to remove the keyboard or anything. I'm removing the keyboard ribbon right now. Now the screen should come off. I'm removing the screen hinges and as you can see the screen has come off. Now I'm removing the front panel which includes the touchpad and after we remove this we will actually have access to the motherboard. This was quite a complicated removal as there were many connections. And here's the motherboard. So now let's look at all the parts within the laptop. So this is the motherboard right here. The motherboard is the brains of the laptop. It has a bunch of other things on it. So there's a processor right there. There is a CR203 battery which obviously had to be replaced. There are a bunch of connectors as well. So here's a connector for the keyboard ribbon. Here's a connector for the trackpad ribbon and there's a bunch of other connections. As you can see, it's quite a complicated thing. In fact, there's also a speaker over there. And as you can see, the motherboard has a lot it doesn't have as much corrosion as I expected considering it was 4 days underwater but the laptop was not working so there was clearly some corrosion causing some issues so we had to clean all that out with the isopropyl alcohol so there's some corrosion here, some corrosion here, some here, some here and before putting the laptop back together again we cleaned all that with isopropyl alcohol all the connectors as well this is a CD drive it uses a uh, optical uh, it you it's an optical disk drive so it uses a uh, visible spectrum electromagnetic waves to actually read the cd these are the hard drive and the 
ramp covers the plastic this is the power panel which is also plastic and here are the two ramp sticks yeah so these are also quite corroded and you can see the gold connectors actually all the connections within the laptop are gold even the ones in the motherboard as well and it's only a very thin layer of gold like 0.005 millimeter anyways this is the ram the random access memory and it's used by the laptop to quickly write and rewrite uh, different uh, thing, uh, things that you use it basically allows you to use multiple applications at once within the laptop so here's the Wi-Fi card the small thing again you can see the gold connections and underneath that is the hard drive so all these cards are made out of silicon and the motherboard is actually uh, made out of fiberglass so all these cards are made out of silicon fiberglass and inside is intricate copper wiring so all the pcbs and all are made over those so here's the keyboard as you can see plastic again this is a screen this is actually an lcd screen which means that how it works is there it sends electric currents through very the screen which consists of many different crystals with different properties so when you send an electric current through it it modifies the properties of these crystals and as a result there's a backlight behind all these crystals and the crystals polarize the backlight in different ways depending on the electric current that is sent through them and depending on that you receive different colors and stuff in your eyes so it allows you to see stuff here's the front panel and now and now actually we connected it to the power just with the mother when it was disassembled to ensure that nothing would get fried and after cleaning it up we can see that these lights weren't there before we cleaned so that's a good sign that the laptop may actually work it wasn't working when we first started this so let's see here i am reassembling it so first we put the front panel on then there's the keyboard the keyboard gets attached some screws go in. then next we attach the screen I'm attaching them screwing on the hinge as we speak there was some connections I was supposed to go inside the keyboard so I had to remove the keyboard again and there we go the keyboard will go back on a second the screens on the keyboards on the power button panel will be on shortly it just pops right into place Next we reattach the Wi-Fi card which was pretty complicated but uh, it goes in. Next the hard drive, we screw the right, that right in. Next go in goes the RAM, the RAM sticks. And on go the covers and we put the last few screws in and we're almost done. And we're done and as you can see this was quite amazing the laptop actually turned on and there's very little damage there's only some damage on the screen considering it was under water for four days all we had to do was take it apart and clean all the connections with isopropyl alcohol and it actually worked which was amazing anyways thank you for watching i apologize if the video was a little long but it was quite a complicated disassembly so i hope you can understand thank you